we started at school, I was really looking forward to Camp Colton. And um, it passed so fast, and now we're here and having a fun time. I guess what the neatest thing is, a, a, lot, of, a lot of children will never get to experience something like this. And for many of them, it's their first time ever coming out into the outdoors. And they're away from home for the first time, so they get to be away from home. They get to meet other children from other schools. They get to be out in the woods, and, and they get to learn some new things. And it, it, it's absolutely a wonderful experience. It's critical time for Camp Colton. While it's the most exciting times ever, this is the most critical time ever. And if we don't raise that 51% we need, this program is in jeopardy and program life could be done. Uh, well, Camp Colton is an extremely successful and unique program. Uh, all sixth graders in Flagstaff Public Schools take turns going for a full week during the school year to gain uh, an experiential education about the environment, and they also learn about responsibility, and they have a lot of fun. Present hands. Inspection? Inspection's scary. <laughs> Why? I don't know. I was just like, That's all the time I'm like the only one who cleans up the tent and so, and he, go, and he goes over there and everyone's like, oh shoot, we're supposed to clean up the tent? Flip. It's kind of nervous Flip. Me. Flip, flip, flip. Pretty much every morning we start class at 9 o'clock in the morning. They go out until 12 o'clock and that can be a mixture of games, activities. <laughs> All the different topics here, there's a great variety. Um, compass, map and compass, geology, botany. Look up at the cones, and you tell me, are the cones pointing up in the air or hanging down? Hanging down. Hanging down, that's a characteristic. Aquatic, which is water. And a couple more, history, which we haven't done yet this year. We walked around in the lava caves, we learned about lava sickles. Ouch. You learn stuff, except it's not like school, because you get to be outside, you get to meet new people. You get to go into this little creek and pond and you get to find all these little water animals. Like I found some beetles and a leech. And it's really fun. Oh look! I got a spider. Alrighty, so that's a dog. The deer points. So it's going that way. It was just fun. Um, it's a lot different than school because you don't have to, it's not as boring. to swipe my net and barely get them. Students are involved in activities all afternoon long as well as we have nighttime activities. And nighttime activities range from campfire, which is always a good night, to a night nighttime hike where we tell stories and talk about nighttime animals, talk about bats, um, to skits. Uh, that's what the map says anyway. Okay. And you don't come out till noon. You guys excited about the square dance? Mm -hmm. No. <laughs> Why not? Because I don't know. I just really don't want to dance. I remember survival class and compass class and the square dance night. Why are you excited about it? Because I like boys. Excellent. <laughs> You talk to some of the kids and they'll, they'll mention, you know, they didn't think they could get by without television or without their CD or, uh, 
you know, without all those little convenient things. And or, or to listen to kids say, you know, I never, I'm doing chores I never thought that I would do or was never asked of me. <laughs> well, the number one favorite seems to be Gaga Ball. Maybe if they don't know about Gaga Ball. And Gaga Ball. What's the name of the game? Gaga Ball. When they come back, they certainly don't talk about learning multiplication tables and things like that. It was, <laughs> oh, do you remember Camp Colton or the River Trip or something like that? But mainly, they love Camp Colton. You look at the letters and, and uh, the positive feedback you get, and you really realize how many people this program actually touches. The Friends of Camp Colton is a organization, a nonprofit organization that has been established to to help uh, fundraise for, for Camp Colton so that it can be more independent. I probably <laughs> ask people to put funds in to help, to help it. I'm a car wash and give all the money <laughs> to the um to Camp Colton. You consider the cost of this program then you have to ask yourself, well, what's the cost if there isn't a program like this? If we don't get the funding we need, I'm not sure how long Camp Colton will survive. I loved Camp Colton. I learned a lot about nature. I also did some chores that I never did before. My life totally changed. I will want my kids to come to Camp Colton, the Camp of Change, or Project Life. I am now not the spoiled child I was. I wish to say thank you to Cameron and to all of the people that made me, me.